Hey yo, what's up? You know who it is. This is the one and the only the trip with the G-O-D. And I am a B-type man. You've learned something new about me. Well seriously, you know who it is. The one and the only the trip with the G-O-D. And of course, welcome back to your favorite YouTube show. That show we lovingly call around here. Run That Rest. Yo, special edition, another entry zero because right now, I am in the mood. To celebrate life. That, that's the mood your boys in. Because. Today would have been the boss's 55th birthday. And. I have been going through the motions all week. Because. There were only four days. On my calendar. There's my son's birthday. There's my birthday. There's the day when the boss died. And it's the boss's birthday. We on day number four. Just gonna keep it 100 with you. I'm sitting up here trying to figure out. Because I didn't do nothing. You know for the July 2nd joint. Because you know I always usually do something. But then I had the technical difficulties and all that. I'm sitting up here trying to figure out man. How am I gonna celebrate life? And then when I realized how old the boss would be today. I knew exactly what to do. One of the way the boss used to relax was some 5-5-B type man on the Tetris. You know what I'm saying? That was that was her thing. There was something else, but we can't talk about it because, you know, that's future content. And that's giving it away for free, and I've already screwed this up. So, we... Well, okay, maybe there's a chance still. You know what I'm saying? It ain't over. Maybe, to get, maybe Tetris like to actually fucking cooperate. Maybe. I don't know. Cause before this started, I had a, I had a little hot little run that I wish I would have recorded for the hood, and that, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is Tetris for your ass. Because all you need to do is make one magical fucking mistake, and it just all goes downhill. But but yeah, but that is why we are here, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm, uh, Tetris, the bane of my existence. One of the loves of my life. I'm like, Tetris and I, we, we had a love thing for years. I'm like, I used to play to some shots from Tetris. Well, that's probably because for a long fucking time, that was the only game I had. Because, let me see. Because, my grandmother bought me my Game Boy, like, right when they came out. So, I had the Game Boy for a minute. Oh, this is a busted one too. Let me see. I had okay. My grandma bought me the Game Boy for my birthday when I was let me see. Seven years old, cuz I remember when I got it, I was so excited and all I had was Tetris. Then at some point, the boss bought me Super Mario Land, so we had that. Um I was borrowing games from from the homies at the daycare, so you know, so I played because I remember like specifically playing like like Battletoads and Ragnarok World. I remember, I remember like one specific time playing that game because I never forget what was on TV. That's when Problem Child used to have a fucking cartoon. That's how fucking throwback that shit is. Is when Problem Child had a fucking cartoon. That's how old a nigga was. I'm like, I remember playing a whole bunch of Motocross Maniacs. I need to get those Konami collections on Game Boy. I just need to get those because I'm like, those collect a whole bunch of Game Boy games together. You know what I'm saying? Because that was another game I wish I would have played a lot more of. 
and that of course being um Castlevania the Adventure because I'm trying to think who did I get that from you know what I remember I got that from the homie Matthew Coriel wherever the fuck he is shout out to the homie Matthew Coriel for the one time because I have uh, he had, he said he had found it on the ground somewhere and then he's like man you can borrow this motherfucker if you want to and I was like I bet I'm like you like eight years old like we giving away Nintendo cartridges and we giving away Game Boy cartridges a bucket and that's that I just sat up here and talked to y'all about my Game Boy stuff cause let me see cause I'm trying to think though um, let me see. Castlevania the Adventure, that and Battletoads. Oh, at some point, because I remember this too. I had gotten trouble at school. Boss came pick me up from the daycare. And she like, I had, and she was like, you would get in trouble in the day that I go buy your ass something. And she bought me one of the best Game Boy games ever, whole else if you don't believe, Kirby's Pinball Land. That was my shit. I'm like, I played, I played Kirby Pinball Land a couple of months ago, actually, and I and I actually and I actually beat it on one life because I played a whole bunch of Kirby's Pinball Land. Let's just say that. You know what I'm saying? I really wish I would have gotten into Pokemon Pinball because. I've watched some playthroughs of that, specifically the last one I think I watched, Brasov did one. And it looked pretty fun because it's like a a spiritual successor to that because it's just Kirby's Pinball Land with like Pokemon stuff in it. Well, actually, no, I take that back because the predecessor to Kirby's Pinball Land is another game that Hal made. It was called, I think, Revenge of the Gator because I remember watching a playthrough of that. And it was like, this shit look hella familiar because all because all Kirby is is like mostly like reskin stuff from Revenge of the Gator. So there's that. And that was 5-5, five five, and this is me talking to you. Let's input things. I know exactly what to do here. V O double S. You know I you know I got to hold it down. You know I got to. This is a celebration of life, man. I have been a wreck all week. I bullshit you not. Random bouts of crime because I knew the day was gonna come and shit, and I'm mad enough to admit that. I miss my fucking mama, dude. I'm like, ain't no fun about it. I'm like, if we gonna be for real, it ain't. It used to be the fact that I miss my mama. It's more now. That my mama never got the opportunity to meet my son. And it's like, and I'm I'm gonna say this live on the motherfucking internet. I'ma say this though. And I'm and I'm feeling myself tearing up the shit, but I'ma fucking say it. I talked to my son a couple of days ago, and he was sitting up here, and he was like sitting up here just saying his name, my name is, and all this like he at that age where he is learning, he he only four. But he's starting to learn about himself. And I'm trying my best to be to him what the boss was to me. I'm like, inevitabilities are inevitabilities and that I fucking get. But the only thing that I have tried to do since 2008 is to make an attempt to be a shining example that to show that my mother and even my daddy fucking taught me how to be somewhat of a human being. That's all I can really say. Is that, yeah, it fucks me up that my kid will never get to meet the person who made me who I am. That fucks me up on so many levels. It does. It just, it does. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it one thousand. It does. There is, and I quote, a 
boss size hole in my heart that can be filled with nothing else it hasn't stopped my ability to care about myself care about others and care about the things that surround all of that but it hurt like a motherfucker and I can tell you that I remember people telling me when she died like you'll get better it, it, you, you'll figure out how to press forward and move on and then da 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 they were right you do because it's either you move forward or you stay stalled and I found a way to keep moving forward through all of that thank you boss for making me who I am that let's be for real Man, I got some stuff in my throat. Is that the universe is a crazy random thing? I could have been raised by anybody else, but as far as I'm concerned, I was raised by the best who ever did it. And shame on you if you don't look at your parents the same way. Well, I understand that some situations may vary, but I got lucky. I know who my mother is, and I hold that with me every day. Hell, separate subject, I know who my daddy is, and because I am a 31-year-old black man, there are a lot of black men who don't know who the fuck their daddy is, so I'm happy to know, and have that blessing that my father was also an instrumental part of my life that something that a lot of men don't get whether that makes them better or worse you can take whatever scientific mumbo jumbo you want to take to that but I look myself I look at myself in the mirror and know that I am the combination of my mother and my father just like when I look at my son and listen to my son and talk to my son. I see as much of me in him as I do his mother. So, all that. This is therapeutic. It is. It is therapeutic to talk about big things. Hell, when... When I did Super Mario Brothers 1 and it was an 8 minute an 8 minute interlude about the boss this, the boss that because I needed to get on wax and say that shit and get that shit on my motherfucking chest because again let's remember 99.9999% of y'all ain't the end user remember it's a little kid that walk, that walk around my clone he ain't using when I'm longer when I'm in the ground and gone this is what will be left for me like I said that regret that I always hit that and talk about it is my driving force it is why I make an attempt to create things so that when my ass gone there will be some record that my motherfucking ass was hit and that's what these videos represent I'm done. Talk the fuck out. I'm going to let you go. Happy birthday, boss. Always in fail. Can't be nothing else. Let's just hope B-Type or the Tetris thing don't kick off something weird on YouTube so I can actually monetize this motherfucking video. Let's hope so. Look. I'm out of here. Gotta go do stuff. Actually, Empire actually on. Finna go the fuck off. Rosewood gone off. Arrow. Gotta watch all that tonight. Cause last week when I was on Soul Calibur talking about off and watch that shit. It's the World Series. So, fuck you want from me. But, I'm done. I'm letting y'all go. Again, this was a celebration of life. I w I'm glad I was able to run 5-5 five five on a 55th. You know what I'm saying? bring that all together 
Maybe one day we'll talk about how she had a decent Alice in Bloody Roar or something when we get around to Triple God explaining it all because I'm probably the only person in the world qualified to talk to you about guard castles in Bloody Roar. Yeah, I am the, the only person in the world qualified to talk to you about Bloody Roar guard castles. That's that. I'm out of here. Salute all day. I am the one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D. And of course, this is your favorite YouTube show. The show we lovingly call around here, Run Dat Rex. And I'll see you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>